Greetings all, Frog here. Let's learn a Kerbal Space Program. We are here in the flight tutorial. If you did not uh, catch the first episode, you might want to go back and see where we've gone. We've gone through the basic building tutorial. Now we're going through the basic flight tutorial. These are just uh, little things as we try and learn how to play Kerbal Space Program. We'll get up to the actual let's playing uh, of it when I feel a little more comfortable with rules and things, but I thought it might be uh, helpful for people to see that, uh, you know, even even the YouTubers out there that are trying to do what they do, we're, we're normal people just like you, and we learn new games all the time, and, and most of us, including myself, don't usually show it on screen. Well, here it is on screen, and we're going to make a lot of mistakes, and hopefully we'll have a lot of fun there. If nothing else, you can come here for all of the voices that I'm, I'm doing. So here we go. We've already talked in this one. If you missed it, we talked about the pitch, yaw, roll. Uh, we've done uh, the throttle, of course. We, we know all about our nav ball. We, we have the uh, SAS and the RCS, which are two different control systems that can help um, stabilize our ship because it does things automatically because this is, of course, a very, very uh, advanced computer and we, we need to control things. Ooh, how'd that happen? Ooh, I, not, I nudged my scroll reel. Uh -huh. I like the, uh, the water tower over there. Okay, so uh, now we're, we're learning about the flight instruments. So in my best uh, Gene Kerman impression, uh, on the upper part of the screen you have your altimeter, vertical speed, and atmosphere gauges. The altimeter will show the distance to the planet's surface at sea level. This means the actual surface may be higher up, so watch out for the ground when landing. Your vertical speed gauge shows how fast your altitude is changing. When launching, it's considered best to keep this gauge pointing up. The atmosphere gauge indicates how deep the ship is in the planet's atmosphere. This helps you know if the ship is high enough for orbiting without losing speed to air resistance, or judge how effective wings and control surfaces will be. Okay, so let's let's try and figure this out here. Oh, look at that! Recover vessel space center. We've got we've got an abort mission thing going on here. That's cool. We got lights, gears, brakes. We'll figure all that stuff out. But we got the atmosphere. We've got distance above sea level, so we can see that that our launch pad is 94 meters above sea level. Um, we're pretty knee deep in the atmosphere right now, and then this is the what? The vertical speed, yes. Which most of the time that makes sense. Oh, I see that vert speed, very small. Crew, these guys on the lower right, they're the crew. IVA. Uh, I don't know what that means. It's generally a good idea to try and keep them alive <laughs> through the flight. Yeah. See, this is exactly the type of thing. This would be the, your ground, Houston ground control, right? Would be like. It's generally a good idea to try and keep them alive throughout the flight, even if they're not exactly expert astronauts or even much good at it, for they can gain experience and eventually attain a better level of skill as pilots, engineers, or scientists, depending on their role. They probably will die, but it'd be best if they didn't. I mean, that, isn't that, like, come on. At higher levels, they gain more abilities, making them more valuable assets for your space program as a whole. You can check the role and skill level for each Kerbal in map view, clicking the Kerbal button on the right. Map view. Ooh. Like, for each Kerbal in map view, clicking the Kerbal button on the right edge of the screen. Oh. They've all got these, they're expert. These, this is a crack commu committee right here, so that way I if I, I, if I screw it up, you know it's on me. That is very cool. I like that map view thing. Nice. Aha! Gene would not have done that. I don't. I don't feel. Okay, but enough talk. <clears throat> okay, but enough talk. I'll unlock all the flight controls, and you'll be clear to launch. Actually, all controls except for one. Let's make it interesting. You will not be able to use the SAS control. Try to keep the ship steady yourself. At any time, you may press Escape to pause the game. In the pause menu, you can restart the flight or end this tutorial and return to the main menu. For now, set your throttle to the max and hit space when ready to launch. For this particular ship, you'll need to do it twice: once to start the engine, and then once more to release the clamps. Okay. So we've got two different stagings going on here. We're in stage eight. We're blinking, so that must mean we're ready to go. But stage eight has four parts to it. Okay. Uh, set your throttle to the max. That is Z. Throttle's at max. Hit space when ready to launch. Space. And up you go. Now try practicing on the controls you just test pitch your roll steady real is too much longer ago, so if you get your scope game Alright, what am I doing? I don't even know. You can monitor fuel levels each tank on the stage UI. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're going up. That's good. I haven't had to do anything yet, probably because we're just going up. I do not want to see through the particular eyes of the, of the crew member. This is really shaky. 
This probably is not good. Should I be doing something? I don't think so. Alright, we're running out of one of the fuel boosters. We don't want to let them go yet because there's still fuel in the other ones. We're going up. Jebediah is loving it. Bob looks terrified. Bill is concerned. I love these guys already. Still got plenty of fuel in this stage, so we're not gonna we're not gonna jettison it yet. I'm kind of tipping. How do I stop tipping? this up. Don't I? Don't I want that to be in the center? Yes, no? I'm kind of listing to the left. Let's try and stop listing to the left. I'm still listing a little to the left. I hit space now for each one of these, or if I hit space, it's going to dump them all. Yeah, let's find out. Oh, it only dumps the, the ones we don't need anymore. Awesome. I'm really going to the left. Let's try and, let's try and correct that. Oh, I corrected a little too hard. Too hard. Come on back to me. I need to go this way. No, I don't. I need to go this way. I don't know which way I'm tipping. I'm tipping. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm going down. We're going down. We're not really going down. It just feels like we're going down. I'm still slightly to the left. Is this good? I don't know. I don't want my joystick. That's not good. Back to the main one. That's, that's very confusing. What was that sound? What was that sound? It didn't sound like a good sound. 13,000 feet up. I'm still listing. I don't know if I want to list or not. Should I be trying to orbit? I mean, what am I? What is my goal here? You didn't give me much goal here, Gene. Gene, what am I doing? The captain is loving that he's having the time of his life. He can't see anything, but he's loving it. This, this is not, I think, the way it's supposed to be. But I don't know how to change that. I probably wanted to stop my thruster at some point. They didn't tell me that either. Still going straight up. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to like do stuff. Should I be pitching and yawn? Oh, I should be. That's helping me. You're now out of the thickest part of the atmosphere, and now is a good time to steer your ship towards the horizon in order to widen your orbit. Point your ship where the blue and orange part of the nav ball meet. I don't see where that is, but we will try to do that. Maneuvering, keep in mind that you will meet less resistance now. There's no atmosphere, so be gentle. Okay, since we're already tipping this way, let's just tip this way. Hoping the orange is this way. Oh, it's giving me a goal. Look at that. Look at that little pink goal right there. I like it. Oh, I'm rolling the wrong way. Oh, I'm rolling the wrong way. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Click the app symbol and select. Well, we're going down. 
Oh, that's bad. Nope, we're dead. I hit the wrong button. Pa space is paused in every other game. <laughs> in freaking every other game. All right, uh, so we're, we're dead now, but that's okay. If you don't close your orbit, you'll just end up back in Kerbin for now. Trust me on this. Press X to stop your engines. Click the AP symbol and select the warp here. Where's AP? AP symbol. Do you see an AP symbol anywhere? I don't see any AP symbol. It was probably that purple thing. If you run out of fuel in the middle, get out of map view, activate the next stage, and then get back into map view. Okay, well, we gotta... We gotta, we gotta resume flight and then watch as, as things go south. AP. Warp here. I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna crash. So this could be our first excellent crash. Turn your ship prograde. I don't even know what that what that means. Turn your ship prograde. Alright, so we're there. Stop! 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 Okay. So Click the AP, so we did that. Once there, turn your ship prograde and bullet, pull, burn at full throttle. What's prograde? Prograde is the other one, isn't it? Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Get there. Get there. No, go up. Go, go, go. Go slow, 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 slow. Punch it, Chewie! We don't have near enough, uh... We don't have near enough juice. Because I, I killed it too soon, right? So we're, we're toast. But that's just the way it works. So we're going to see how bad this goes. I suspect very. Because the uh, it's not the orbit's not getting any bigger. See that? I don't know how much fuel I have left, huh? Shouldn't something tell me that? Yeah, see, I've got no fuel. We're just floating in space. That's bad. Down we go. Now I understand. I mean, if I don't, you know, launch the solid fuel booster with, I don't know, 50% of its fuel left, it would help. We're not going to sit here and wait for this to, to go. Let's revert to flight, revert to launch. All right. Uh, no, we already know this, actually. Thank you. We're going mm. to skip right through all this. Mm -hmm. let's, go, let's go back to the actual launch pad, which we can't do yet. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Got all that. Remember all that. I remember how to do it. Okay, good. M. Get on a map view. C. How do we go to... We got to get down to... We gotta, I have no staging now. Okay. And scenario? Yep. Let's do it for real. We just have to reload. Uh, I really don't want to be on this view. Get off of this view, please. Okay. Whenever when it says hey. click, whenever it gets to the M, I'm going to click M and get off this stupid view. Uh -huh. I mean, it's a good view, but... Okay. 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 No, now I got. How do we? 
how do we focus? I need to go to the left. We've got no stages. I've got no rocket. I've got nothing going on here. I had broke it. He thinks I'm done. I'm very much not done. Okay, then. No idea. Well, that was fun. We know how it works. I'll practice a little bit off screen. Let's talk about orbiting. So now we're going to talk about how to fly in orbit. Oh, it's Gene again. Welcome to Orbiting 101 Training Program. I'm, oh, that exclamation point is, is it doesn't belong there. <laughs> I'm Gene Kerman, and I'm going to teach you the basics of orbiting. I assume you've already done the basic flight tutorials and are now ready to get around in space. If you haven't done them, well, I hope you know what you're doing. Not really, but we'll, we'll fake it. Next, orbiting is really nothing more than free falling. The only thing is that as you fall, you're moving so fast forward you actually miss the ground. Because up here there is no atmosphere to slow you down, you will continue to free fall endlessly around the planet without having to use your engines. We're currently on a low, almost circular orbit around Kerbin. To get a better view of your situation, press the M key to go into map view. This is the map view here. You can see your ship's position and its current trajectory. What are we, way over here? No. Okay. Hold, right click, and move the mouse to look around to see your orbit from various angles. Okay. All I see is the sun. You think something's been broken with the game? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Hmm. All I see is the sun. What has happened here? I don't care about the sun. Get off the sun. Go to me. Okay. All right. So much better now. Goodness. Is this me? No, it's an unknown object. That's also an unknown object. This is Kerbin. Theoretically, I'm flying around Kerbin, right? It's the world. Why are you focused on the bloody sun? Okay, good. Focus is Kerbin. Let's zoom in. Hey, look, there I am. Okay. I got it. We've got an orbit. Alrighty. Fantastic. Wow. This is a very picky game. That's why we're learning, right? Let's learn. Hold right click and move the mouse. We did all that. When you're ready, press. The okay, good. What, what's our information here? Do you tell me who's in board? No, just Orbiter 1A. Fair enough. All right, good. Let's get practical. I trust you already know your basic spacecraft controls. Up here, they're very much the same, only that the lack of atmosphere makes the ship behave quite a bit differently. Because there's no drag slowing you down, for every input you apply, you'll have to apply an opposite one to come to a stop again. I'm going to remotely nudge your attitude controls a little. Try to get the ship back under control afterward. If you find yourself totally out of control, hit T to toggle the SAS. Are you ready? No. Because I am, again, not focused on me. I'm focused on Kerbin. Focus on me. Please, God, focus on the stupid orbiter. Nope. Apparently, one doesn't want to do that. Okay, fine. Sure, I'm absolutely ready. All right, here we go. I think the tutorials are broken. That is unfortunate. Because you'd think he would be doing something right now. Nothing appears to be done. All right, we have hit a bug. We're about at 20 minutes anyway, so I will uh, call it here. I'll take a look in between videos to see what's going on. Maybe I'll just reload the game, uh, and we'll we'll go from there. So hopefully this isn't uh, you know uh, an end to our runs here, but I don't think it will be. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.